now to the life and legacy of Aaliyah. Two decades after her death, a new biography sharing never before told stories about the singer and an eyewitness account about the moments before her passing and celebrating her impact on music. We spoke with the author of Baby Girl, better known as Aaliyah. Kaylee Hartung has that. Good morning, Kaylee. Hey, good morning, Amy. She was the princess of R&B. She won us all over with her beauty, her style, that music, and that dancing. Now, nearly 20 years after her death, this new book is lifting the veil on the moments that put her in the spotlight. Say yes or say no, she was that somebody, a teen R&B phenom that grew up before our eyes and helped define a generation. Aliyah Houghton, simply known as Aliyah, reaching the top of the charts and our hearts in the 90s and early 2000s, with undeniable hits like One in a Million. And Try Again. And starring alongside Jet Li in the blockbuster film Romeo Must Die. She was poised to take over the world until at just 22 years old, her life was cut tragically short. On August 25, 2001, a charter plane carrying her and eight others crashing minutes after taking off from the Bahamas. Now, 20 years later, a new book by author and journalist Kathy Iondoli titled Baby Girl, better known as Aliyah, is reporting new details about her death and enduring legacy. She died a few weeks before 9-11. So that ended up overshadowing her death in a sense. We weren't able to grieve. What started to happen over the years was Aliyah became an aesthetic. She became this like mythical creature. She became almost like a statue, a piece of iconography. Iondali says her perspective provides a fresh take on the star. I wanted to create something that celebrated her because I was sick and tired of the other static that was coming in about her, the other things, the other news. And there's only really one way to tell a story, and it's to provide this panoramic view of the artist. The book also recapping the early years of her career, including a troubling relationship and secret marriage with R. Kelly in 1994. Aliyah, just 15 at the time. R. Kelly, 27. The marriage soon after annulled. R. Kelly is now facing federal charges for alleged sexual abuse of women and underage girls, including Aliyah, who prosecutors say had her age forged on their marriage license after Kelly allegedly bribed an official to make it 18. Kelly has pleaded not guilty to all charges. That was not a couple. That was an abusive connection where someone trusted her producer and was preyed upon. I didn't want to bring this up, but over the years and after watching Surviving R. Kelly, I felt it was an obligation as a fan, as a journalist, and as a woman to address it. And a shocking claim making headlines. Iondali alleging the artist may have been medicated before boarding that fatal flight. I had to tell the story as it was told to me and as the um, off record multiple people who spoke about the, the incident said to me as well. You can't be told that someone was handed a pill and moments later was brought upon a plane. After moments before that, she was adamant about not getting on. Now, whatever that pill was, I can't say. But what I can say is that she didn't want to get on the plane. Despite the ups and downs the singer experienced, her music is what many will remember the most. Iondali says she's celebrating Aliyah's life as if writing a love letter from a fan. Aliyah's legacy is tenfold. It's strength, it's genius, it's feminism, it's empowerment. 20 years later, we're still watching it happen, and I hope that we're still watching it 20 years from now. And it's hard to believe, but all this time, Aliyah's music has not been available legally on streaming services. Her catalog has been caught up in a dispute, but a distribution deal has apparently been reached, and you can listen starting this Friday. Her estate is not thrilled, but her fans, they are. And that new book, Baby Girl, better known as Aliyah, is available now.